Uh, welcome. In this video, in this video, I am going to give you the details on how you can prepare acidified aqueous potassium manganate 7. Precisely, if you are asked, how would you prepare a solution of 0 0.02 mole per dm cube potassium manganate in 1.0 mole per dm cube sulfuric acid? Given that the MRO or the molecular weight of potassium manganate uh, uh, 7 is 158 gram per mole. The molecular weight of sulfuric acid is 98.0 gram per mole and the volume is uh, 1 dm cube. Here, there are two phases in preparing this, uh, in the, uh, this acidified aqueous uh, potassium manganate uh, 7. The two phases, we have to prepare first the um, uh, the potassium manganate seven solution. Then the second phase will be to prepare the sulfuric acid solution. Then the third phase will be will be to acidify the potassium manganate seven. This drive us to step number one in preparing the potassium manganate solution. Step number one. You can prepare potassium manganate solution from scratch or from a stock solution. In preparing a standard solution of this, if you are using from scratch, there are some certain basic calculations you have to do. Now, since we have been provided with the, uh, with the data, preparing, for example, a standard solution of 0 0.02 mole per dm cube potassium manganate 7. The first thing is we need to calculate the number of moles. We need to calculate the number of moles. We need to calculate the number of moles of, of, the, uh, of potassium manganate that is required. Now, we have been given the concentration. We have, we, have, we have been given the concentration. So, and we have been given the molecular weight of uh, potassium manganate 7. The relation concentration equals to moles divided by volume in dm cube will be used. And in that case, calculating for moles will be the concentration times the volume in dm cube. And the number of moles will be what? The number of moles will be 0 0.02 mole per dm cube times a volume of 1 dm cube. And if we do this, calculating our, uh, substituting our values, which is 0 0.02 mole per dm cube times 1 dm cube, the required number of moles of potassium manganate uh, 7 will be 0 0.02 moles. This takes us to step number 2. Having got the number of moles, the next thing is the quantity. What quantity in terms of the mass? We have to calculate the mass using the relation moles equals to mass divided by the molecular weight or the molar mass. And the mass of potassium permanganate that is required to be dissolved will be the number of moles that we calculated times the molar mass. If we substitute our values, it will be 0 0.02 moles times 158 gram per mole. The moles under the per mole will cancel and the one will be left will be 3.16 gram of potassium manganate 7. This is the quantity that is required to be dissolved. That takes us to that take, it takes us to step uh, uh, number uh, step number 3. Step number 3, we have got our required mass that need to be dissolved. What we need to do is we need a, a, digi, a digital ba a balance. So we will use the digital balance to carefully measure 3.1 gram, 3.16 gram of potassium manganate uh, 7. We measure it and dissolve it in about uh, 500 uh, ml uh, distilled water. When 
it is properly dissolved, we can now transfer it into a 1,000, we can transfer it into a 1,000 uh, ml volumetric flask and uh, make, up to the uh, make up the solution to the mark. Having done that, we have to heat this solution for in a water bath for at least one hour and uh, allow it to stand for about two days. After that, we can now filter it through a glass wool. Now, we take our filtered solution, which is 0 0.02 mole per dHq potassium manganate, uh, manganate uh, 7, and preserve this for the final step. We have now prepared a solution of 0 0.02 mole per dHq potassium manganate uh, 7. We now preserve it for the final step. Now, phase two, phase two of this will be to prepare a standard solution of uh, sulfuric acid, either from scratch or from a stock solution. Uh, good thing, we have a stock solution of uh, sulfuric acid in the laboratory. Now that we are going to prepare a stock, so, uh, we are going to prepare sulfuric acid from a stock solution, we are going to prepare now 500 cm cube of one, uh, one mole per dm cube sulfuric acid from 2.0 mole per dm cube uh, stock um, uh, sulfuric uh, stock solution sulfuric acid stock um, uh, uh, stock solution we now have a, a stock solution of non concentration this non concentration will enable us to use the equation uh, the dilution equation we will use the dilution equation to determine the volume of this stock solution that is required for dilution. Now, if we substitute our values in the equation, which is C1, V1 equals to C2, V2, we substitute our, uh, our, uh, our values there. Now, the volume of the required acid, which is V2, will be, uh, will be C1 times V1 divided by C2 which is equal to 1.0 mole per dm cube times 500 cm cube divided by 2.0 mole per dm cube and our final answer will be 250 cm cube of 250 cm cube of the volume of the required acid for dilution then it takes us now to the next step it now takes us to the next step which is the practical part of it now we will use a measuring cylinder and we will also use a, a volumetric flask. Since we have been asked to prepare 500 ml, uh, 500 ml, what we will do is that we will measure using, uh, using a measuring cylinder the 250 cm cube of the, the sulfuric acid, which is, in, which is a stock solution, into a, 5 ML, a 500 ml volumetric flask into a 500 ml of volumetric flask and uh, we make up the solution we make up the solution to the mark now this is now a 500 uh, 500 cm cube standard solution of 1.0 mole per dm cube sulfuric acid we will not preserve this for the final step we will not preserve this for the final step one thing you must note is that preparing 1.0 mole per dm cube sulfuric acid from a concentrated uh, from a concentrated um, um, acid will require between 54.4 cm cube and uh, 55 um, 55 cm cube concentrated acid for dilution. Once more, if you were to use but a concentrated if you were to calculate but from scratch using concentrated acid, sulfuric acid, you will use between 54.4 and 55 cm cube of the concentrated acid for dilution. Now, it takes us now to the final step. And our final step here, our final step here will be how to acidify the potassium manganate solution how can we now prepare how can we now prepare 0 0.02 mole per dm cube potassium manganate seven 
in 1.0 mole per dm cube sulfuric acid. In order to acidify this, uh, um, uh, to acidify this aqueous potassium manganate solution, a manganate seven solution. This is the final step. We will also use the measuring cylinder. We use the measuring cylinder and measure carefully equal volumes of each of these solutions. We can decide to measure 100 we may of each of the solutions. We may decide to measure 200 of each of the solutions. We may decide to measure um, 250 of each of the solutions. Therefore, we will have to measure carefully equal volume of each of the solution. Uh, let me say um, 250. We will measure 250 uh, cm cube of 0 0.02 mole per dm cube potassium manganate 7 into a 500 uh, ml volumetric flask. Secondly, we will also measure 250 cm cube of 1.0 mole per dm cube sulfuric acid into the same 500 ml volumetric flask, swell it, and uh, you now we now have a full solution of 0 0.02 mole per dm cube um, potassium manganate 7 in 1.0 mole per dm cube uh, sulfuric acid. This is now what we call the acidified acidified aqueous uh, potassium manganate solution acidified aqueous potassium manganate uh, seven solution when we do all this we now have what we now say it is acidified aqueous potassium manganate uh, seven solution comprising of 0 0.02 mole per dnq potassium manganate seven in 1.0 mole per dnq of the sulfuric acid. When we do this, we cannot preserve the solution for the experiment in the lab. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for listening. Subscribe, make comments, and continue to watch more of our videos. Thank you.